classifying polygons based on perpendicular lines. Like other geometrical shapes, polygons have many properties, and they can be classified based on these properties. Remember that intersecting lines can form a right angle, and in that case, we call the pair of lines perpendicular. Here, we will look at the properties related to the number of perpendicular lines in polygons. And we will start with quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. A square is an example of a quadrilateral. As you can see, this square has four right angles, which means that we have four pairs of perpendicular lines. Here's one pair, two pairs, three, and four. All squares have four pairs of perpendicular lines. Can you find any other quadrilateral that has four pairs of perpendicular lines? Well, let's look at this rectangle. As you can see, it has four right angles. As a result, it also has four pairs of perpendicular lines. All rectangles have four pairs of perpendicular lines. This next quadrilateral has only one right angle and one pair of perpendicular lines. Now, what about other familiar quadrilaterals? Let's look at this rhombus. As you can see, this rhombus has no right angles, and as a result, there are no perpendicular lines within this polygon. Also, this pentagon and this hexagon have no right angles, and no pairs of perpendicular lines. To summarize, polygons can be classified based on the presence or absence of perpendicular lines within them. All squares have four pairs of perpendicular lines. Similarly, all rectangles have four pairs of perpendicular lines while some rhombuses don't have any pairs of perpendicular lines. Regular hexagons and regular pentagons don't have any pairs of perpendicular lines. In this lesson, you learned how to classify polygons based on the presence or absence of perpendicular lines.